I know, Peggy. I'm, you know, I'm really sorry for flipping out like that. It was very, you know, selfish and just kind of basically immature of me to overreact the way that I did. And, I mean, I feel like such a freaking ass right now. For me, there's no need to apologize, Sean. I know, it's just an odd coincidence we dated the same guy. And I'm really sorry, you know, it's, it's something that just happened after, and I can't help that, so... <sighs> yeah, well, one way or another, Peggy, one way or another, we will figure this situation out, and, you know, things will come, you know, things will come into play how they come into play and everything, and we'll see what happens, we'll see what we can do, I mean... I mean, I'm really hoping it's not my ex-boyfriend, but, you know, whatever happens, happens, and I'm going to be here for you. And we'll see how it all comes in perspective. Well, I most definitely did enjoy my stay here, Sean, but I will have to get going now. I got so much work to take care of at the house. But thanks for letting me, you know, talk about this and everything. I really hope you figure this out really soon. Well, again, yes, again, Peggy, it was nice seeing you as usual. So you can stop by any time, and I, I will always have an open door for you, so. Thanks again, Sean. It was nice seeing you, too.